Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be legendary. What is up guys, this is Godzilla Suplex and welcome to UFC Zillow where today we'll be talking about who is going to win at UFC 234's co-main event, the legendary Anderson Silva or his upcoming clone, Israel Adesanya. But before I do that, please hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I make a video. So guys, let's get into this. This is the classic student versus master situation even though they've never trained with each other. I mean. If you look at these guys, they are almost clones of each other. Great striking, great jiu-jitsu, are pretty smart on their feet. I mean, pound for pound, these guys are like the younger and older versions of each other. And it's just so interesting to try to break down this matchup from a perspective of what is Anderson Silva going to do? Because we know what Israel is going to do. But what is Anderson Silva going to do? What is his current condition? with his body but you know as we do on this show we do not say who's gonna win and who's not gonna win we're gonna break it down by scenarios and before i break the scenarios down we gotta get to the goals of each fighter we're gonna start from the legendary anderson silva and what he needs to do to win this fight anderson silva as always he uses his brain rather than his brawn even though he has great brawn i mean he just rather uses his brain his intelligence and against a fighter like israel asayan where he's going to use his natural instincts great movement and sort of a little bit of strategy anderson silva's got to be careful on his feet and i think the key is to get the fight to the ground without exerting too much energy and on top of that he has to stay shifty on his feet he has to make sure that he's moving back moving forward and having the best footwork possible against israel asayan Staying up in the best position to counter him and constantly frustrate him about what he's going to do next and slowly chip away at Israel Adesanya's patience until he starts making mistakes and then capitalize on those mistakes and try to get the decision victory. But what is the goal for Israel Adesanya, the prodigy kickboxer? And I think he really needs to use his raw talent and just rush Anderson Silva and just use his natural reaction time and speed and lack of being damaged though you know he needs to really go at Anderson Silva just make him uncomfortable let him not settle into his game plan and keep the pace high against Anderson Silva and pressure him and use his natural gifted talents against Anderson Silva until basically until Anderson Silva just breaks down you know gets hit too much and then his strategy cannot be properly impl implemented and he just gets knocked out but which one will prevail we will see in these scenarios now the first scenario is what is very likely is that Israel Adesanya will go for the throat and try to knock out Anderson Silva in the first round put the pressure on put him in uncomfortable positions and wet him up that first round which is a whole bunch of punches so if that happens we have to ask ourselves can Anderson Silva survive the strong storm with his craftiness and I think the answer is yes I think he's going to be able to weather the storm against Israel kind of calm down the tempo so if that does happen it's very unlikely I think that it's going to be a first round knockout I think once the tempo really settles down and Israel Asani has to start thinking about what he does consequences and stuff like that I think Anderson Silva will survive but can he come back and win the fight from that position though and I think it's clearly they can win a three round fight and turn around the next round you know his stamina, stamina won't be compromised I think he will be able to easily come back and try to uh, mix up his game plan against Israel Adesanya now what if it's vice versa though that, that that is a very interesting fact what if Anderson Silva uses his craftiness and catches Israel Adesanya we've never really seen him hurt before but what happens Israel Asai using his raw talent will dodge him because you know he has a great kickboxing experience like Anderson Silva but Anderson Silva has something special where he has to take down in the wrestling veins you gotta worry about when you start bending your head and stuff like that will Anderson Silva start throwing strikes where you're gonna move your head is it, it, that's a very weird place because his timing has been so great but the thing is that Anderson Silva can't do he can't be too aggressive because we know that you know he used to be just great at mobility and stuff like that but he broke his leg so he's in a different state than he was then so he can't quite be aggressive and pull out those uh prediction moves like he did moving quite out of the way because this is a very special striker and this dude knows how to put his punches on the button 
where you're going to move your body again, stuff like that. He was a kickboxer. He was a legendary kickboxer with a great record. So unlike a lot of these guys who don't have good striking, this dude does. And Anderson Silva will have to be careful when he tries to close in on him and make sure he's not caught. But what if Anderson Silva is able to successfully take down Israel Asai in the first round and start really mixing it up? with his jiu-jitsu and his ground game. I think, can Israel Asanya really grab out of that hold and not run into the core sword Khabib Connor complex where Connor was scared to throw punches at Khabib because he was scared of that takedown. You know, will he fear it? I really don't think so because if he gets taken down and stayed there all that round and you know, Anderson was constantly throwing submissions and punches from the top, you know, I think Israel the way he's built i think he will come back i think we've seen it before him against wrestlers but none this tricky though none that that can throw strong strikes and then mix it with the ground just keep you guessing every time you know just great experience on his feet but you know israel side does have the youth on his side so it's a very weird conversation when we're talking about that so in the third round the biggest round who is the best finisher okay who can finish the fight the best you know and I think Anderson Silva finishes fights great, or used to. But you know, a lot of the questions that we're asking ourselves is about his health, and about his mental condition, because he is older, and he has gotten knocked out, and you know, he has taken multiple damage to his body. So where is Anderson Silva right now with that? I think finishing a fight for Anderson Silva, especially if it's a strategistic contest, I think it'll be great and heavy, heavily weighing in his favor because he can strategize on what he needs to do and what he needs to correct whereas Israel Asaya might be keep guessing and try to come at him aggressively to finish the fight but if we're talking in terms of brawling Israel Asaya will win that fight because he just he will just come at you with such accurate punches and kicks and once you start getting damaged by them it's like a slow hill down it's like he'll pick you off he has great patience and he will just really just try honing in for those final rounds so my overall thoughts of this fight is going to be very close i think i think it's going to be very strategic it's going to come down to multiple punches of what happens but it all really centers around israel adesanya's great striking and reaction time and his kickboxing experience and how anderson Silva is going to try to curve his strategy around it my prediction is that even though Israel Asanya has a lot of experience, I think he does not have the most experience against somebody like Anderson Silva who can pull every trick out of the back. His submission game on the ground. If he gets Israel on the ground, you know, Israel got long lens, but I think Anderson Silva is so experienced, even in late game situations, he can look for that takedown, just ch totally change the complexion of the fight. I think he's going to mix it up on the feet and the ground with his great jiu-jitsu and really put the experience on Israel Asai and try grinding out to the decision victory. But guys, give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Who is going to win this legendary bout between Israel Asai and Anderson Silva? Also put in the comment section, how is it going to end by knockout, decision, submission? But guys, this has been the best Gojira in UFC news. Sign off. See you later, guys.